be going over how to create a collapsible and extendable list in your FileMaker file. Now at first it may seem daunting, but a collapsible list can be very useful. For an example, let's go with this. Uh, these are a bunch of invoices with addresses, cities, phone numbers, and the amount that invoice has. And say we have a bunch of line items that are attached to it. Usually you would have a list of all the invoices and then it would require your user to select that invoice, go to the invoice itself, and then see the actual line item on the invoice. However, with a collapsible list, that is no longer required. With a collapsible list, let's say with this first one, selecting this down arrow, will show all of the line items that are attached to that individual invoice. To give another example of how this could be useful, let's say you have a bunch of jobs that need to be set on several individuals, let's say several users themselves. So there's a bunch of users attached to the job itself, and the staff need to see how many users are there and how many still need to be filled in, and what data they have on the people who assigned to those jobs. So usually, you'd ha that staff would have to go into those individual job and then see how many people there are and getting the data that way. But if your staff has 20 or so jobs to look through, a classical list can save them time and money without having to switch back and forth to check how many are in each one. It allows for the jobs, let's say we have the one here so we can see the first one, and then we'd be able to see the second one and all the individual employees that would be attached to it. And you can see both of them at the same time. That way your staff saves time. Now, before we get into it, the list is made by using a web viewer, which takes web content and displays it onto a FileMaker file. Sounds complicated. It's not really. Um, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which I will show you here in the setup. These three text fields are what you're going to need to make a collapsible list that looks similar to this. Now, the CSS essentially sets up how it looks, how the styling is, and the JavaScript is what connects the FileMaker file, HTML, to the actual web content. So, essentially, the web viewer grabs the data, it inserts the FileMaker data that you have, what your jobs and your employees, or in this case, your invoices and invoice line items, puts them in the HTML and then puts it off on the web and then it comes back to display it on the FileMaker file. Now, you're asking, that's all well and good, but how do I actually set one up? Essentially, with a FileMaker file, allow me to show you exactly how it's done by setting an HTML up as a custom function a construct. So here the actual HTML is constructing and using the JavaScript in the actual HTML to actually trigger correctly with the data in the FileMaker file and the CSS showing the styling of that individual list of lists. Now with your data you're wondering how does that get inserted? into the list and how does it show that? Well, to create that, you would need a JSON. Essentially, here you can see that there is a JSON on the right side, which has the data of the left side. Essentially, the left side being the invoice information and then down below all the line items that are attached to that invoice. Now, let me create a new one. So let's say we have address here and there. Here and there. 
And let's say we are here currently as the city phone number. Let's put a dummy phone number right there. We have the date being, let's say, 6 8 20, 2000. And the amount of the invoice being 500. So as you can see on the right side, as I put in the data, the JSON fills in with the information as an array. But as you can see, the line items are empty. So let's add a few line items to show you how it works. Uh, let's see, general fee. Let's have that be a general one as the description. Let's have there only be two of them and maybe make the price about uh, 90 bucks a pop. So as you can also see, the line items themselves, as this calculation checks every single time a new line item is created, it is added on to the array of arrays. Essentially the JSON having the initial information of the invoice or the main record that will be shown, and then having another array on it that will have all of the data related to it, such as these line items. Let's add a few more, shall we? Let's say teach. Let's call this one teach. Let's say teaching. And then we have the quantity of maybe three, maybe a charge about maybe 40 bucks per each. And that will display on the JSON. Now, implementing the JSON on the collapsible list essentially uses those JavaScript um, text files to show on the collapsible list itself. Essentially, every single time you go to the collapsible list, like let's show it off right here, that new one here and there, here, shall be showing up here, and all the line items will show underneath it. And it's as simple as that. If you, any of you have any questions or any, need any help setting up a FileMaker file collapsible list, let DB services know, and we're happy to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day.